Fox 9 Morning News starts now. And many Minnesotans spend a lot of time at the cabin each and every year. That's a, <laughs> that's a, a nice cabin. cabin. Uh, is this a good time to look at buying lakefront property? We'll take a look at what, that when the Fox 9 Morning News comes right back with a lakefront real estate expert. Welcome back. 814 now. You know, one of the great things about living in Minnesota is having a lot of lakefront property. 90,000 miles of it. I had no idea there was that many. All right, many Minnesotans, of course, will look to buy vacation homes or even make the cabin their primary home now or in the future. But there are a lot of things to think about before buying that dream home on the water. And here, here to help us avoid pitfalls and other disasters, Jim Slater from Lakefront Plus Remax. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Well, thanks for having me. Well, this is this is really fun to think about, especially when we have eight to ten inches of snow coming, because there are people who will spend a lot of time at the cabin in the winter. But let's let's talk about the summertime. Uh, when we think about buying a dream home on a lake or some other piece of water, what are some of the most important things to consider? What do we need to look at? You need to look at uh, building restrictions, mm -hmm. repairing laws. Everything changes on every that lake. How restrictive can some of these rules be? And if people, you've probably found people who've purchased homes and they want to do certain things that they can't, right? Absolutely. They think they can just tear down a home and put another home right on top of it. How tight are the restrictions getting? Our counties and these other you know, boards and bodies, are they getting tougher? Absolutely. Everybody wants to protect our lakeshore because it's such a, a commodity. We don't have much of it anymore. Mm -hmm. And so that means there are different rules when it comes to, what, setbacks and if you can put little buildings on or if you can split up your property. Absolutely. Those, are those the kinds of things that they're looking at? It happens all the time. What are we looking at here? The, this, this isn't a cabin. What, we're looking at the monitor right here. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful home on Prior Lake. Uh, uh, are these, how often do homes like those come available? More than you think. Really? Yeah. But people are, you know, there's buyers for that. That home is 1.895 on Prior Lake. It's a beautiful home and it's set up to really entertain. <laughs> Not a cabin, maybe, for most of us. No. All right. So you're talking about 1.8 million, you know, on a home like that. Of course, a lot of cabins. Most cabins are probably a little bit less than that. Yeah. When it comes to prices, you know, we see that the home prices in general in Minnesota are coming back up. What are prices looking like? Are prices good as far as sellers or buyers right now for cabins and lake homes? Well, it's actually a good market for both sides. Okay. okay. The inventory is really low. And is that almost always the case? Well, a lot of property has. Yeah. You know, it's, it's low. Something that's higher, you know, when people feel good, mm -hmm. they'll buy. When they feel good, they'll sell. Okay. Mm -hmm. So people have been, what, you, what that might translate into then is people have been waiting. Have people been waiting since 2007 maybe to unload or Absolutely. release some of the property? And they're still waiting. And now the buyers are thinking, did I miss the bottom? Mm -hmm. you know, are we done? So now, now the urgency is a little more. Any areas in particular that are growing as far as having more inventory or is it really just depend? It really depends. Um, the metro is becoming really great because a lot of people don't have time to go up north anymore. Mm -hmm. The three, four hour drive. Yep. Their kids are in sports and ballet, dance, you know. So are you finding they want to buy a, something on a lake and live there year round instead of driving or? Absolutely. Yeah. They're selling their home in Apple Valley, their cabin up north, and they're buying a primary metro uh, lake home because they miss their grandkids. The grandkids aren't coming there anymore. Interesting how that's changing. Uh, who, yeah, so who is buying? Lakefront property is it is it young is it retired is it everybody? It's really everybody. Um, some of the the baby boomers are just adjusting mm -hmm. their lakeshore lifestyle right now. Okay. And uh, maybe getting a smaller home, and but then we have the Generation X. They're all over the board. They want one or two hours close. Yep. Um, we even have second home buyers coming to Minnesota, and they want to be close to the airport. In proximity to everything, though. Do you still find that you back, you know, 20, 30 years ago, a lot of people bought small cabins, and they worked on them for 20 or 30 years for retirement homes. Are people still doing that? Is that still a possibility to buy something as an investment? Oh, absolutely. Well, then a lot of times they just pass it on generation to generation. We're out of time, but I have, to, I have been told that you do something really cool every time you sell a home. What is that? Oh my gosh, I have amazing, amazing passion with a Smile Network International. And we just had those folks in just oh about, about, about yeah, a month ago. It's, it's amazing. Every time I sell a home, I donate a, a Smile a surgery. Um, to the buyer and the seller, and now it's great. Um, people are matching me now with, with my donations. We have 44 surgeries to date, which is a whole mission. Well, and, that re and those folks repair cleft palates. Correct. For kids mostly in the third world. Absolutely. Well, that's fantastic. So, all right, the great story there. If you have any questions for Jim, He's got a lot of energy, as you can see. You can see him along with our own Todd Walker tomorrow at the Lake Home and Cabin Show at the Minneapolis Convention Center. Today's hours are 10 to 6, Sunday 10 to 4. Jim, thanks again for coming in this morning. Just more things for us to think about. Great, that is thanks. kind of fun. Uh, Todd Walker, of course, will be out there as well. Appreciate it. Thank Good you. Good to meet you. Appreciate it. All right, need to check on that forecast. I know. We're